Hi everyone, it's Jerry. I'm on Lee Chess and I'm gonna hop into this hourly rapid arena. Get at least two, two or three games in here. Ten plus zero time control. All right, game one. Uh, let's go. Let's go with B three. Been playing many games against Leela Chess Zero. Night odds games. Plays B3 a lot. <laughs> um, can't be that bad. All right. Um, I'm going to go with that four as well. I'm keying in on one square right now. E5. All right. See no reason not to put the knight on F3. So far, every move has been directed at e5. However, indirect. Okay, so this is the first move that makes me wonder what's going on. What's its next step? Hmm. I'm guessing there's an idea to put the knight on f5. I mean, if it's not on f6, it could be kind of tricky for black to complete development with this guy pointing right at g7 all right i think starting with e3 is the way got a lane for the bishop another idea could be to okay i was thinking you know maybe there was some concern about bishop takes knight and the knight wants to recapture so okay not worried about any checks i got that covered i think i may want to just get rid of my light square bishop give a check i wouldn't mind a light square bishop exchange yeah i mean here's another detail black has wasted some time moving this knight twice so i have um I guess like a slight lead in development. Let's give the check. First of all, see how black responds. All right. Go with the bishop. We'll exchange. So if the knight recaptures, it's a second ranked knight. It's a, kind of a half developing move. And now without any light square bishops around. Um... I'm already thinking about building in the center on light. Now, I think I want to hold off on kingside castle. So I like this move right now for its flexibility. Queenside castles is certainly a thing. Uh, with this knight on f5, I may want to grab a tempo against that piece. And just value space that knight will have to move for a third time also now with this queen on c7 i feel like knight c3 could be a move maybe maybe i don't have to build with a d3 and e4 but just getting this in and then and then e4 can be a thing on this and then here i do have Knight b5. I'm on the queen and d4. I gotta have to pick out the pace here. Huh. At the same time, mm, yeah. Not sure, not sure. Okay, I'll, I'll go. I'll go with this one. Knight c3 it is. Might cut out this square. Okay, that move. Not sure what the story is with h. Six. If I go here, knight here. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe um, I'm not a fan of queenside castles. Actually, I'm leaning more towards kingside, and then a break in the center with e4. Watch out, this could be hanging as well. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay. I'll go kingside. Giving up on this g4 idea, but I, I do have in mind a possible e4 break. I mean, this, this could be... Okay, I was going to say this could be uh, a possibility, but there's some tactics there, so... C4. All right, I think I think I should definitely take. Yeah, let me take. To watch this bishop is a bit more vulnerable. If I give a push, there's bishop c5 check. Let me go here. It is a half open file now. Opponent is playing really fast. Bishop there. All right, so this, there's that. Let me get out of this right now. So I'm now threatening this. This could be a move as well. So if it's queenside castles, there's this guy that could be dangerous, and kingside castles, bishop move could be dangerous. So I believe now I'm just winning because this diagonal is wide open. Any knight move hits the rook and if we could go with two threats why not we got two hanging major pieces now and on bishop takes the knight is defended so i don't have to worry about any counter-attacking ideas yeah and i might as well just follow right through swipe the rook to be a little bit careful like i don't know some knight jump here but it's they're not in position okay everything is just collapsing all of a sudden here for black He'll land this fork now. And yeah, the whole farm is falling now. Okay, they resigned. Yeah, it's sudden end there. I mean, I think it was before g5. I mean, that c4, that c4 move, initially I thought, eh. But it did free up the c5 square for their queen, their knight, and bishop, so... There's something to it. Okay, let's not go B3 this time. We'll go E4. It's looking like we're going to get two more games in at least. All right, we got a Sicilian. Um, I guess maybe try a C3 Sicilian. Hmm. I already have an eye on establishing a pawn on E5 now. With the C3 Sicilian. Get the duo, and then the duo is converted into a space advantage, so. It's one of the top moves. Pressure on my e-pawn. We're in there with e5. Uh, I guess, I guess I'll develop the knight right now. Knight f3 or d4. Alrighty. And, yeah, I think d4 now. Um, two moves out from castles. Black is three. I'll keep that in mind. Hmm. All right. I'm leaning towards queen takes now because I'm seeing that... Well, well I was going to say on this... The knight has to move, and then I could take and saddle black with an isolated pawn, but that's not true. On this, there's pawn takes. Or is there? Okay, hang on, because on this pawn takes, I could first give this check, which is pretty irritating, since bishop or knight blocks, then I could win the knight. So um, queen takes d4, pawn takes, bishop b5 check, knight c6. Then I could recapture with the knight, and I have this nice initiative going. I'm moving forward, developing a new piece. The bishop improving my knight from f3, and generating a threat. That, that feels very appealing, so I'm going to go and develop a new piece. Yeah, I have this important tempo. Knight c6, I win the knight. 
a knight move, I could at minimum take a d6. And I'd be happy going into, okay, I'd be happy going into an ending where I have a, a target here on d6. All right, so the knight is simply defended like that. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, although, I wonder if I could bother that bishop. It's not really so stable. I wonder if I should. I wonder if I should take right now, actually. Maybe check here and then take queen there and then this. Yeah, let me let me give this check. I really don't want to have to move my queen right away in response to knight c6, so I'm buying myself a little bit of time. I'm prepared to take this knight. But I, I, I would prefer to try and, uh, let's say, I want to create some structural defect in black's camp. So take here and then knight here. I'm helping the queen out a hair. Not thrilled about that. But no, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna take illegal. We got the pin. I mean, I guess Black is considering taking with the pawn. I mean, it does help out the bishop, but we'd have this forever. Uh, Isolated pawn, a forever target, it feels, on d6. So black, I guess, is considering this. A or b. On a6, I could take the knight and then take another pawn and be up a pawn. Okay, so in the end, taking with a pawn. Okay. So... If I just castle a6, take, take, it's no longer an isolated pawn. Let's see, what other options are there? Bishop here. I feel like I'm helping the development. I think I want to, I'm just going to castle. I'm prepared to give up my bishop for the knight. I mean, that's, that's definitely one of the things I'm saying with castles now, because on a6, I have, you know, if I back off, then there's b5, pin is broken, bishop would be hit, my queen would be hit. So castles is saying I'm prepared to give up bishop for knight and play within this new structure, cd, pawn duo. But we'll notice here, black is still two moves out from castles. There's a completely open e-file. Um, but it's even it's it's more than just two moves out from castles because the only square for the bishop would hang g7 and I believe I would take it. Um, not really too concerned about the rook coming here. All right, I have to, as mentioned, take. Uh, I could also look to scare the knight, but might I just be scaring the knight to a square where it's even more threatening? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Queen b6 could be a move. I, I don't know if I want to see um, a queen exchange. Mm. All right, what, what? maybe I could go hunting for the light square bishop, possibly. Yeah, that could be a thing. This, I'm not developing. This queen b6... Offering queen exchange. I think I, I like this idea of going hunting for the light square bishop. So still lacking with my queen side development. King side development for black. I don't have to worry about queen side castles. With this structure, that'd be super duper risky. Maybe if black can be assured that queens are exchanged, this becomes a thing. But for as long as the queens are on, this is just not a good shelter. And that's why I'd be, I feel much 
more confident about taking this pawn here. Oh, wow. So we actually are in this situation. So first of all, I could take this bishop and then take here. There's a counterattack with bishop f6. But I think taking here first is, is the way. I mean, this here, here. I don't know that the move order matters a whole lot. I'm going to take the bishop. And I guess we're going to be taking this super valuable g7 pawn. I always have to be on the lookout for counterplay, but I'm just not seeing black have enough development for any of that. Oh, also another detail. Look at the lateral movement my queen has. Bishop f6, I could react with the counter punch. Queen b7. However, I may want to end up just parking my queen here to interfere with kingside castles, although I don't know. Um, two, two interesting options. This is certainly invasive. I'm not seeing the queen getting trapped. And why not go pawn hunting? Take a pawn here. She'll escape this here. Take. Yeah, this queen's off the hook active here. I'm going to go fast. Well, I'll go to b7. This knight is under control, so if it tries to drift towards my king's side, I got it. I got it covered. So there's one aggressive piece. Okay, not going for that. So I'm going to take this pawn, get my queen back into uh, a more uh, central square. Same side's castles, but this is... This has my attention, to be sure. This knight, two moves out from two pretty good squares. Thinking more about e4 than f3. Because, uh, well, don't have to worry about some rook sacrifice. That's always a thing. All right, I think I, I react and counterpunch again. My queen is getting a workout. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. All right, so that's that's defended. I do have bishop here. Yeah, let, let's let's put that one on. Pretty irritating bishop. Oh, there's no rook f7. I'm just realizing because of this. And this move isn't working because I have a check on g4. I'm also under four minutes. This game is flying by. So the rook has to go, I guess, to b8. It's not threatening this pawn, though. Put the knight here. I'm on this. And if that's shut down, I could play queen c2 if I really want to ensure b2 does not fall. There's knight f5 moves, but I have squares. Even if I end up with an isolated e-pawn, I'd be thinking more about f4, first of all. But even if this and there's a knight exchange, I do get an open file, and there's these ideas of a, a quick rook lift. All right, so we are here. Maybe instead of this, I have the check, although after this one, there's rook here. Yeah, I'm probably, in a way, asking for trouble. Do I really care about that b-pawn? Should I care about that b-pawn? Just give it up? Nah, I don't want to give it up. I'm going to go to c2. Knight f5, bishop f4, e5, bishop here. Bishop on g3 would be a fantastic defender. Uh, I don't have e4 anymore, so definitely looking at knight here. Queen is restricted, not seeing a way she can be deflected. If there's further pressure on b2, 
I'd be thinking more about defense with a piece rather than b3 because then this becomes sensitive. I don't really want to extend the scope of this bishop. Bishop is unprotected. Bishop is unprotected. Okay, the possibilities of a trick here. Also, my queen's unprotected, so this could be an idea. But I'm uh, how many? I'm up. I'm up two pawns. So even if they get a pawn back, now let's start with this one. So on this, rook a, rook a to c one. Now I'll keep queens on. Take, take, with the pawn. Square opens up. Okay, let's do this. Be careful, they're still not in position to coordinate on g2. Didn't see that one coming. Okay, so they're successful here with winning the b2 pawn. I could have played queen d2, but... Okay. And I think... Maybe, maybe this is a, a good move. Yeah, this gets a this gets a minor piece exchange in, and I think this is helpful for me because these guys act as mm, important defenders for the king who is lacking pawn shelter. So stripping stripping black of a minor. Oh, bishop takes bishop. Not sure what I'm missing there. I think they just missed that. I could win the bishop. No good attack against my queen. Certainly the knight is a long ways away, long ways away from attacking my queen. All right. And I guess I'm just going to go here and then here. It's defended. Queen is unprotected. This is potentially sensitive. This pawn can fall, but I'm up a full piece and a pawn. Full piece and two pawns currently. Two minutes, though. It's the one thing not on my side. I have this square under control. Okay. Uh, let's go with this one. I want to keep this secure. Now my, I'm focusing on coordination here, getting the queens off. Queen d7. This guy is excellent right here on f3. Yeah, I think I'll go for the ending. Even though, you know, more vulnerable king... But, you know, I also have a material plus, significant material plus, so makes sense to trade queens. I guess a matter of taste. All right, so here we are. Rook exchange. Uh, all right, I guess a rook exchange is cool. I'll get the flight square in. No queens on, I could feel a bit more comfortable going to and making these weaknesses. All right. I didn't see that move. That does actually have the get this exchange in here, but get my bishop, but go hunting for the scary A pawn. That's my number one priority here. Get rid of the past pawn. All right, so they didn't even try to hang on to it. So up a knight and a pawn. Improve the king. All I'm looking for here is coordination. This, this, this. King up. No tricks against my rook. Nice little home here. Now step up again. There's one little check. 
everything is currently defended except for this guy. I'll block here. I'll reroute the knight somewhere else. This and then here. And if that's prevented, I'll come right back and then go here. So now I have good enough coordination with my king. I just want to work on my knight. Alrighty. I'll go two. And normally I would take with the pawn. But I'm going to make an exception here. Because I want to use this guy as shelter for my king against rank checks. On the check I don't want to block. Because there's that. So they're split. But my king is more stable in this split structure. I could also go hunting for this pawn. Rook check here, king here, king here, and I'm ready to give up the knight for this pawn, so I'll take with this guy. There we go, we'll land the check. Be a little careful about stalemate, I guess. <laughs> And drive the king away now. That's the plan. Push pawns. I'm on the rook currently. No checks. Are, are there any fancy ways to end this one? I guess I could just start pushing a little bit. I could get here. He's defended. It's going to be down to the rook, preventing the h-pawn soon. We'll keep going. I don't mind if I have to go here. Uh, I guess I could walk a tight rock. Although, no, I'm not going to. I don't like e even being on the edge. I want to stay more central. Yeah. We'll just come around this way. I guess this is just going to be a loss on time. Under seven. Yeah, I could keep going. I don't need the knight at this stage. Prove the king. Here and push. Okay, they're down on time. Queen went pretty wild in that one. I don't know if it was really best for black to take on d6 with the queen. I don't know if it was really best to take on the isolated d-pawn. No. The uh, lead in development I had, at least on the with my king side pieces, ended up uh, translating into a material plus. Okay. Frederick, 18, e4. Okay. I'm going to try g6. This game may or may not count. All right. Bishop g7. Oh, c3. Okay. Well, no knight c3. I think I want to get a pawn established on this square. Kind of turn it into a King's Indian defense. And if the reaction is this, okay, well, this changes things significantly. I believe I still play e5, though. Yeah, and I, I like the idea of playing e5 right now. Before this, I really don't want to subject my knight to d5 with tempo and underdeveloping. So um, e5 takes, takes. I'm not concerned about going uncastled. I, um, I feel like I could work on this e5 square. Nice outpost for my miners. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm fine with really however the structure ends up. I believe I, I need to 
I need to do this. I, I said A. I got to go with one of these two. And I like this idea of confronting this trio straight away. And also, yeah, like straight away right now, meaning before this knight is there conveniently. Uh, maybe preventing e5. All right. So now I got to do something here, I believe. Let's see. Hmm. How do I want to take... I'm not actually sure here. I mean, this is kind of wild. Now, I mean, uh, and this here takes, there's knight g5. Yeah, something with this. I don't like that knight on g5. That's kind of scary. So I'm really not sure which way I should capture here. I don't like the idea of helping black or helping white develop the bishop. I mean, do I play knight c6 here? Mm. It could take and then play d5. Maybe that's the way. Yeah, maybe maybe that's the way. All right, I'm, I'm going to start with this one. Expecting the pawn to recapture for many reasons. Bigger center. C3 is open up for the knight. I guess I could not play with a pawn just yet this one or maybe even this one maybe get a bit more development in i'm staying clear of this one because i think that would be in there although maybe i'm fine hmm i'm, I'm leaning towards this one yeah i'm gonna go with this i'm not sure what i want to do just yet this one, this one. Okay, so doesn't hit with tempo. I think I want a castle. Have my queen defended, and then, then I'm ready, I believe, for c5 for sure. I may want to keep this tension. Yeah, let's castle. I got to pick up the pace here. I think now I'm ready for this one. So, yeah, I think now is definitely the time. For c5, yeah, let's bust open the center while this tension is still here. I don't want to take, because of this, uh, two, two uh, white benefits in a couple ways. Bishop is helped without the pawn on f4, and the rook is helped, you might as well say, once white is castled. So I prefer to see white chopping away here and here. So now I should hit at the base first. Yeah, I believe I'm winning a pawn. So let's sweep the sweep the leg. Something else here? No, I'm not seeing. Let's chop here. Knight takes, chop here. And what might be even better than taking a pawn is simply developing. A reason to not take the pawn, let's say on this, here, here. Alright, let's let's take what am I talking about? After I take this, I'm on the knight. So this knight. Uh, white can't even take here. Well, yeah, they're blundering the knight here with check. Yeah, just one a knight. All right, and now the cleanest conversion here. I'm drawn towards bishop f5, getting the queens off. Bishop takes, queen takes, queen, and only then the recapture. And on this, rook c3, I have bishop g4 with the skewer. So I'm going to go with that one. No fancy bishop moves with check. If this guy was on f6, this would be a big blunder. Or no, it wouldn't, because bishop check there I could just take. No checks for white, in short. All right, so let's complete this. I could recapture with the knight, and I'd be defending my queen, but let's just keep it squeaky clean. And now this square right here, 
excellent post for my night. I could take this pawn and uh, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit this pawn for a second time. Maybe I prefer to take with the knight. I'm also coordinated here now, and my rooks are connected, so I actually am the one who's slightly up development wise. So in these situations where you could take a pawn outright, I think a good train of thought is to see, can I just attack it for a second time? Maybe, maybe you would prefer to take with a different piece. In a position like this where I'm up a piece, you don't have to think in a finer, a more technical way like this, but I think developing the habit, in short, of at least considering um, Piling up on that unprotected piece or pawn is a is a good thing. So let's move forward. I have good coordination. I'm cutting off the rook from entering my house. And I may even just pile up on this for a third time. So on this one, I can't can't take here. Bishop f4 take hangs the knight here here chop chop and get the piece back i do have a move knight c2 that hits the rook but nothing more all right oh well now it is something more you ran into the fork i'm gonna be up a, a full rook shortly Okay, in another situation here where when you have your opponent in a pickle like this, don't be don't be too quick to take one of the rooks. Wait for one rook to move first and only then take the other rook. And you force a time waste. Okay. So right here for instance let's not take that rook just yet now sometimes you have to watch for like if this rook for some reason was unprotected then there would be a way out of this fork because of a tactic against an unprotected black piece but i'm defended every way here and i believe following up with rook here is good as well I got the check covered. I'm not worried about moves that deflect. I'm ready to take the one in the corner and then take the knight now. Rook here. I have defense with my c6 knight. All right, and so now this is working out because this guy is, is the overloaded piece. So I'm gonna take the guy in the corner. And then take here, if they take my knight. Okay. We may just be playing on right to the very end. I guess knight here might be tried. I don't really care if my beat pawn falls. Knight here, here, I'll bring my knight back into the action. This briefly cut, um, ran through my mind, but I shouldn't be playing in that way. To I don't, I don't want to give white a pass pawn. Even if I know I could track it down, just don't want to deal with that. Be a little bit careful. Back ranks, uh, actually, no, I have a flight square here, so. At this stage, I really don't even care if they take my knight. I just want to simplify, get the rooks off. I'm up a rook 
and night. Got this point covered. No entries. Plenty ways to do it from here. And it's maybe looking like this is going to be the last one. Yeah, they may they may be playing to have this game not count for the tournament, maybe. Maybe, maybe. We'll see. Oh, they did resign. Okay. Are they going to pair me up? Not sure when they cut it off for the rapid events. Yeah, it might not get paired. Yeah, in fact, let me, let me, I was just going to call it a day right there. All right, we are going to get one more in. All right, let's try D4 this time around. Final game. Okay. C4 and D4 duo. All right. I'll go a bit more simple. No knight c3, bishop b4. Alrighty. Knight c3 here. c5 takes bishop e7. Bishop b4. Okay, knight d7. I think I'll just take. I guess they're considering taking with the knight. Okay, knight it is. I don't have a ton of experience with these uh, structures. E4 takes, takes, C5. You can get these endings. The queen's off. Black has a 2 to 1 majority. That, 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 C5. After these captures, queen a5. Some order. Some moves like that. Alright, so what, what am I doing here? I, I don't believe I have to play e4. I, mean, I guess I could go a bit more solid. Or what about, what about bishop g5? Yeah, let me let me go with bishop g5. I think I want to play with uh, a pawn on e3 rather than e4. Yeah, you know, Also, in playing this way, I I do help black a hair with development. Uh, I could play maybe a bit more simple. So maybe we'll, we'll give uh, this a whirl. Knight takes knight, we'll play with the ram structure, a pawn fixed on a light square. Look forward to maybe a better minor piece type position. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Super duper simplified here. The check, queen here. This structure is one I'm far more comfortable with. So, bishop move, where do I want to go? Hmm. I guess here. More aggressive. If I play knight e5, there's c5. I wonder if I should look... I think I should maybe look to restrict. I'm going to flick in the flight square. And stop bishop g4. So... No, no. Kind of working on this guy. All right. So now that the knight is here, this is an idea. Let me castle. If the queen played there before the knight is here, I'm blocking with my queen. Okay. Opponent's playing very fast. 
Okay. What what I wouldn't mind here is uh, all minor pieces to be exchanged. If this, I think this, and that's coming pretty fast. So maybe, maybe I begin with this one. Let's see. Like if C6 is played, then I, okay, I feel a little bit more comfortable playing here. Yeah, let's go queen c2. If they do play c5 now, yeah, it's gonna, there's some loss of time. And I'm prepared to play knight here and then go for some minority attack. All right, you're really lining up a sacrifice here. They may be doing just that. I wonder if they're kind of running into some trouble. Possibly. See here, here I could take. Here, here. My king side my king side should be fine. You know, knight takes I could take here first. I guess knight d knight d six is a move. I think knight d six is best. Yeah, let's see. A little concerned here, actually. Yeah, I think that's a very strong move. Yeah, I'm getting concerned about some sacrifices here, actually. Hmm. Let's see, rookie eight. Hmm. Concern on this here, here, some sacrifice, and then a rook lift. I'm going to go here. On this, I'm going to take here, and I believe I'll take again. Queen takes, queen takes, and in the end, recapture with the pawn. Let's see if they actually go for that. Okay, so that's being lined up. Wow. Okay, so I think I may need to take with my bishop here. Bishop takes. Because knight takes, pawn takes. Bishop is hit, and then that. So I think I have to take with my bishop. And I'm going to I'm gonna have to move my king. Not sure where is best. I like that they're actually thinking, are they considering taking with the rook, actually? Wow. Wow. All right, I believe I'm just busted now. What a move. Okay. This, this, my queen is hit, and there's this mate. Huh. Okay. It's a goner for me. I mean, any rook move is looking pretty good here. Four minutes. I mean, maybe I am threatening this now because I can move and maybe weasel, weasel around. Maybe. <laughs> Ugh. Scary. What would I play here? I mean, on this, I'm thinking I might sack the queen. 
here, 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 here. Try and hold knight rook versus queen. They could, of course, take one of these two. And I'm really not sure how I'm responding there. I mean, I could also... And this I could also take here. Here. And then here. Knight here. Do I have enough coordination? I guess I'm going to give it a try. All right. However, in this situation, I don't have that option. So... What do you do? Guess here. It's not the worst pawn. I mean, is there a sacrifice here? Am I surviving? There's a check here. I'm um, okay. I don't know. Wow. Okay. There's rook takes h3 now. Uh, let's stay focused. Let's stay focused here. Um, this is a move. Back rank mates. I don't know a ton of time. If the queen isn't here, I get the rook. I'll go for this. Threatening mate one. What a weird position. You're calling a Magnus game where he, there's some wild queen takes a7 move. Got a hanging knight, hanging queen, hanging rook, possibly hanging rook here. Rook f8 is probably best. Rook f8. And take here. Queen takes c6 nearby. Bishop getting into the mix. It's not there. The knight controls the bishop. Takes away these squares. What a game. You're taking quite a bit of time. What other move are they considering? I mean, is there a check here and then some... Okay, I think that's just running into more trouble because I'm taking the pawn and I'm back on this mate. I might just be winning now. And I believe I'd want to take here. Okay, so here we are. Take with a rook. I don't have a ton of time. Queen exchange. Maybe a qu I feel like the queen wants to be a hair closer, actually. This could be a move. Oh, that might be a beautiful move. Beautiful move. Here, I think I'm winning. Queen c8. Oh, there's bishop here. Be a bit more clever, possibly. Here, bishop f5. My knight is hanging. I'm going to go here. Queen takes knight, I have queen takes rook, followed by mate. This is the big threat. And I see it. Yes, here. I gotta go fast. 
Queen takes knight, pawn takes rook. Minute 32. How is it that I'm, how is it that I'm up upon? <laughs> Crazy. It's not easy to maintain this pin now. Bishop here, rook here. I think I've weathered the storm. Okay, I think. A rook here. He's trying to get trades. Bishop is pinned. No bishop move would check. Knight f3 is coming if the rook falls back. Here, here, there's this idea. Aye. Oh, they just went into a fork. Missing anything? I don't think so. <sighs> Minute 18. I want to sack a rook for this bishop. <laughs> Don't have to worry about any attack. They try to coordinate here. So rook, rook on g3 actually is really, really strong. I'm opposite the king. There's a pin threatening queen takes bishop. So let's say here, 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 rook g3. I don't want to abandon this file just yet. Okay, so actually the offer of a queen exchange. Now I'm taking the material though at this stage. Playing faster, only have a minute. I could play this on bishop e4. Oh, I'm, I'm going to take here. They have queen takes rook, but I, I don't mind that. I also don't mind that, uh, yeah, let me, let me start pushing pawns. These guys hold up these three. That's my big plan. Rook here, rook here, and then here. Just start pushing away. I have a clear path forward. I don't care if this pawn falls either. I'm going to keep going with the pawn. I'd prefer to keep the king cut off for a bit. If the rook tries to get aggressive, then it's going to be out of position to blockade. And right here. Now improve the king of here. Push. I didn't need to push. I was thinking the rook could move and then... Oh, no, I'm sorry. The, the king was ready to blockade. Yeah, I don't want the king to blockade. That's why I'm pitching this pawn. Here, 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 takes. No, I'm going to go in for this right now. Is this the right way to do it? Wow. Crazy. What a king and pawn ending. What a king and pawn ending. And because I have these doubled pawns, it's a win.
because I have Mr. Tempo right here. No king move. Let's go with this guy. What a wild game. And I wasn't even going to play another one there. Wow. That was crazy. Okay. Let me throw a good game is all. I'm pretty sure I was busted on that one. I'll take a very quick look. That was really well played there by my opponent. Rook takes. Made a lot of really nice moves. So right around here. Yes, rook takes is the winning move. I needed to play king h2. Yeah, it's winning for a few moves, even after queen takes a7. The flashy queen takes a7, rook g4 winning. Rook takes e3 is also winning. b6 was strong. The check left me off the hook. Rook f8 necessary. Yeah, I was gifted a valuable tempo. Queen takes b7, and now I'm winning all of a sudden. Wow. That was a really crazy game. Okay. Uh, that's going to do it for this hourly rapid. Feel free, as usual, to leave any feedback in the comment section below. Hope you enjoyed it and maybe took a thing or two away. That's all for now. Take care.